So now we have a fresh document. We're going to start our flashcards by inserting a table. Click on insert table and start with five rows and two columns. Now we need to make this space a little bigger and adjust the margins so that our tables will fit. So let's adjust the margins first. Click on layout, margins, custom margins. I like to change my top margin to 0.4, the bottom to 0.4, and then I leave the left and right at one inch. This works on my printer. You may have to adjust that slightly if your page cuts off when printing. Now we want to make our boxes larger. First you want to select the table. You can do that in two ways. The first way is the simplest by clicking on this little plus sign in the corner. See the table is selected. Or with your cursor within the table, you can click on the layout tab, click on select, select table. Both ways work. Once you have your table selected, change the height of the rows to two inches. Change the width to 3.36. I find this is the best size for my printer and it will work for most. As I said, if it cuts off, you may want to adjust that slightly as well. Now, if you look at the screen, you'll notice that my table is not centered. You could be tempted to start moving the columns. You don't want to do that. There is a much quicker way. Select the table again, then click on auto fit, auto fit window. Now everything, if I scroll down, you can see it's all on one page because the margins are adjusted and I auto fit it to the window. Now we're ready to start typing. The good thing about this is once you get all of your information typed in, you can select the entire table to change the font, all types of formatting options. You can select everything quickly because all of your entries will be in one table. That is what I like about this method more than the template method that many people use because templates are usually tables, but they're individual tables. So you have to go throughout the document and select each table individually if you want to change the look of your cards. Not very time friendly, especially to someone who needs time to learn a language. Let me put some text in there to show you. You can select the column. I like to choose a line center. That centers the text both vertically and horizontally. I like the look of that, especially for the front side. Select the column again and go to your home tab and you can change the size of the font in the entire column. Also, if you want to save paper, you can set up your flashcards for duplex printing. You just want to remember that when you go to your second page, everything needs to be flip flop so that it prints correctly. Let me demonstrate. So if you view Ashley as card one, when you go to the second page, which is now the back of the flashcards, you need to flip flop the order of the columns. I recommend that you do a couple of cards first. Make sure your printer is working correctly before you do all of your formatting, just to make sure your results are what you expect. If I don't have a large number of cards to do, I tend to go the lazy method of putting the back side of the card in the right hand column and then I just cut them out and fold them rather than sorting out all of that duplex stuff. Another thing you can do, I'm going to select the table again. I'm going to go to table design and in Word you can see they have a lot of presets here. If you want to go a little fancy, you can select a preset you like and have a little bit color going on on your cards. This method is wonderful for card customization. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, please let me know. And also, as you know, Mandarin Mania is all all about community and sharing Mandarin learning materials freely. So if you want to contribute any of the cards you make, 
please contact me. Let me know. I'd be happy to hear from you.